what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. It's currently 7.30. Uh, I usually get here at like six most of the time. Uh, I'm just exhausted, okay? And also, uh, I'm slacking this week and I'm sorry that I didn't get like any vlog footage for those of you who uh, come and watch the videos because of that maybe. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a shop therapy. So with that being said, welcome back to Shop Therapy, episode five. Our best self requires the continuous sacrifice of ideas, habits, people, and places that do not align with who we are and where we're going. So basically just learn to sacrifice shit that's not directly um, feeding you the energy and the, the time that you need to continuously push forward. Um, and like I said, that could be uh, an idea, whether you are close-minded about a situation uh, or you get too offended for other people's ideas, um, habits as in maybe a hobby that you have, uh, a habit you have at work that can like kind of uh, hinders your, your efficiency or people, which I think people and a place are the biggest ones, right? Because if you have, like, for example, really shit friends that all they do is complain and and just party or, or whatever you want to deem them kind of unnecessary for what, where you're going, and it could it could be no hard feelings, you know what I mean? You just live a different life, and they go one way and you go the other. You can keep up with them, but you're not as close as you were because you were trying to uh, effectively grow um, in the right direction. And... As far as places go, that one's kind of obvious. It could be like a hometown situation. Uh, I, I feel like I have a great example of that, which a lot of people do, um, but especially like small town people, right? Because where I came from, Hemp Hill, it's an awesome place, it's great. Uh, it has its ups and downs, pros and cons, but it really is a cool place. Uh, I'm thankful that I grew up there, I feel like if my dad would have kept us in uh, in the Houston area, I would be a completely different person, uh, and probably not, probably not for the better, to be honest. So uh, I'm thankful for that. It's a little small country town. I hated it at first, but I grew to love it, and I made awesome friends there and created great relationships. Um, and you know, like I said, ups and downs, but it it definitely had a, a piece of who I am today, uh, leading up to where I'm at now. Oh man, that's my go-go juice. Lion's mane, cordyceps, and water. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry I'm like growling this one. I'm just so tired. I sound like Miley Cyrus or something. So these won't necessarily be uh, super long, but I figured I would take uh, all four, four of those things that I just said from that quote, right? And kind of break them down into what it could potentially mean. Um, starting with ideas, right? So an idea could be uh, if it's if it's keeping you and hindering you from progressively moving forward, right? Efficiently changing for the better. Um, an idea could be, you know, I'm going to miss this interview for this job because I feel like it's too hard. Now, if you had an idea in a sense that maybe it just wasn't for you, then you're sacrificing something that um, you personally feel is not going to benefit you and make you happy, which is a whole different, I guess, segment in itself. And there's a push and a pull to that. But if you strictly are just um, quitting or dropping something because you think it's going to be hard, um, it's definitely a bad idea that you need to just rip from your, your database, you know, because uh, that will do nothing but, but hinder you. Because the things that you deem as hard could actually be pretty fucking easy <laughs> depending on how you handle it. You might be, um, you might have a knack for it, you know, depending on what the, the, uh, the occupation is and just like what's within it, right? So then, what was it? Ideas, habits, habits. Uh, I could use myself as an example for this one. Um, I probably never stop doing it because I don't think it's extremely detrimental because I have uh, went through school, 
Um, I finished school, now I'm a barber and I have an awesome career and I'm doing good and I'm feeling great and it, it is what it is, so I'm, I'm not progressing. You can't look at the things that I've accomplished in the past like two years and say that I have not uh, changed or progressed for the better, right? But if I was to give an example of maybe a habit, uh, mine would be uh, shocker video games, right? So uh, I play a lot of video games and I personally don't think it's a bad thing, but there are moments to where I get a little bit too caught up and um, obsess over a game or an accomplishment within it or, or something. And it's not, like re I'm, I'm aware that realistically it's not affecting my real life when I can go make real money and buy real things, right? But it's just fun and it's just something that I do. So if, it's, if it has deeming qualities that are, are kind of bad in a sense, but they're not detrimental, then you need to learn how to work around it. And, and everything in life needs moderation, um, even habits. So the next one um, would be places, right? So places, I kind of already gave the example for that, like a small town, um, in my case being Hemp Hill, where I'm from. It's a great place, but um, you know, unless, unless you're able to make like a crazy successful business, you probably just need to get the fuck out of there because uh, there's not a lot of opportunity there. Um, I feel like it's a great place to like retire and maybe raise a kid uh, because everybody's pretty much on the same page there and, and I feel like you'll you'll reap the most benefit in, in an aspect like that. But as far as individual growth, especially for a younger person, just fucking kick rocks, man. And the last one, uh, last but not least, being people. And I think it's probably one of the most important ones because it's the hardest one to work around. Uh, because anything that has, or should I say the thing that I feel holds the most energy to an individual and can affect them in, in a really substantial way would be another human being as far as like connection wise and uh, understanding how they affect your day-to-day -day life, especially if you're around them every day, uh, maybe every other day, whether it's like a best friend of yours that you go hit the gym with them all the time, maybe it's a coworker you see six to seven days a week, uh, maybe it's a, a significant other you live with, you're married to them, you have children with them, whatever it may be, right? Um, it's, I'm not trying to tell you to like go divorce your husband or your wife, uh, or just like put your kids up for adoption if they're shitheads, but basically just, just sit down and really like evaluate the people that you choose to, to give your time and energy to, because um, I guarantee you, you're going to find a couple of bad apples that are kind of sucking you dry, you know what I mean? Because it's, and sometimes they're not even that bad to where you're not noticing it quickly, but long term, like longevity, it's whenever you're around that person, you are going to change. And that is the worst thing possible. When you get around someone and you change your authentic self, you need to get rid of that fucking person, especially if you're changing like for the worse, right? Um, but if they're making you change for the better, keep that person around, love them, cherish them, cherish them, just keep them close to you, right? But it's not the approach we're talking about <laughs> right now. Um, and it's, if it's something that's fixable, then work on it with that person, talk to them, uh, maybe voice an opinion, but if it's something that you deem too far out of reach and you can't kind of hone and bring it back in to yourself, then the best thing to do is just to walk away, you know? So I actually uh, can give you all two for one. I have another quote that's one of my favorites that pertains to this this specific spot of, of this segment. Um, and it is that everyone wants to be in the results and not in the process, but it's in the process where you realize who truly deserves to be in the result. Basically, let's just like blow it out of proportion, right? Let's say, uh, you make millions, you have a super crazy successful business or multiple successful businesses. Uh, you have all the nice cars, you have a, a nice beautiful home. Um, maybe your personality is great because you've built it over the years and you've built this intelligence and this confidence within yourself and you have all these random uh, little rats that just come into your life um, very abruptly because of what you have and you're pulling these negative people in um, and you notice that 
obviously they weren't in the process, right? People who could be in the process would be um, childhood friends that you were riding with all the way through the ups and the downs, the super bad times and the really great times, um, significant others, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, even children, which children are kind of a, a weird subject because they're your kid. And if you are like, yeah, I got to get rid of this motherfucker because he's draining my energy, then you're just a shit parent and there's no other way to chalk that up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if, if they're not, they don't have to be with you helping to reap any type of benefit, but they have to, to genuinely want to be your friend and genuinely want to have a, a good heartfelt relationship. So whenever you are, you know, balling out the frame and they're with you, you don't feel some type of way and you don't feel uh, neglected in a sense like this person um, didn't like me for who I was and they only like me for who I am now. So understand that um, a sacrifice is not always a bad thing. Some of them will inevitably hurt, but will be deemed necessary and you will grow and you will see uh, more of the light at the end of the tunnel, whether you uh, relieve yourself of a shit idea, of a shit person, of a shit place, or an extremely shit habit. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, thank you for the support. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Call your mom. Take a deep breath. Be a good human. I'm out. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This